Hey there, class. Let's talk about the second part of a trade takeoff, which is quantity or unit-based takeoffs. And those work for trades that supply their pricing or understand the scope of work you want them to do by looking at the number of items they're supposed to complete. So classic trades we'll look at right now are things like electrical, which we can pull off the RCP or reflected ceiling plan. Another would be things like plumbing, which I've started to highlight in blue that we'll get into because a plumber will often charge you in the number of fixtures that they're roughing in and installing for you. So let's consider things like electrical and plumbing on this plan. So what I've done ahead of this is I've taken my yellow, which is close to electrical. I use this for electrical, I use yellow, I use blue for plumbing. Is I've gone through the RCP and I've noted any single electrical parts of scope. So this receptacle, that switch, receptacle, 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 exterior pot light. I've highlighted them in yellow so I can clearly look at this and understand how many receptacles do I have? I can count them. How many exterior pot lights? One, two, three, four do I have? How many smoke detectors as indicated here do I have? And I have one on this floor. How many ceiling octagon boxes? I have one, two, two on this floor. So electrical will be a great example of a quantity based takeoff. And same for plumbing. So what I've done is I've taken my blue pen ahead of this and I've gone through and I've got a domestic hot water tank in the McCalc room, and I highlight that in blue. I have a sink and a toilet, so it's blue and blue. I have nothing else that's water-based on this main floor for a plumbing scope. Upstairs, I have a shower, so highlight, washer, highlight, sink, or to sink toilet, uh, refrigerator, so probably has a fridge line, so good to understand the appliance schedule to know that this fridge will likely have a water line, and I've got a sink, and I probably have a dishwasher as well um, in there that I can make a note about. So when I'm writing my scopes for electrical, when I'm getting you know for the ground floor, I can either, as a kind of a fast way to do things, is I can count and use this, uh, this symbol legend down here to record quantities, or I can simply say up here for receptacles, I can use a symbol. I have one, two, three, four, five, six, uh, seven. So I have seven standard receptacles. For ceiling for switches, I have one, two, uh, three, four, four switches. So switches times four. So anything that's different like this, I've got a three-way switch here. A three-way switch has a different cost. That's why electricians use a unit-based cost is there's twice as much work to run a three-way switch and wire as a single switch. So I'm gonna list that as switch three. I've got one of those. So I do my quantities per floor. And as I write my RFP, I can say supply install, ground floor, seven switches, or four switches, seven receptacles, one three-way switch, one smoke detector, one electric fan, and that means they can simply go through and give me costs accurately based on what I've broken down. The same thing happens for a quantity trade like plumbing is ground floor plan. And as I run through, supply install one feed to domestic hot water tank. Supply install one sink at ground floor powder room. Supply install one toilet at ground floor powder room. Supply install one feed and rough in box for washer, etc., etc. And as I go through, I can simply take a blue pen as I write my estimate and check off those boxes to say, yes, I captured that. That's in the estimate as I'm going. But highlighting in blue for plumbing, for me, makes sense. Electrical and yellow helps to keep it quantity based. And I can do that for things, other trades that are quantity based. I write the numbers on. And the last example we'll go through is things like stairs. Stair manufacturers or carpenters often charge you for stair set based on the number of rises. So you can simply look at this staircase and count the rises and say you've got 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13. So I could write 13 R. So when I get to my stair section, I can ask my stair provider supply me with a quote for a 13 riser stair with a winder at the top. Describe the finishes, but I'm quantifying what I want by the number of risers. So 
Quantity takeoffs are really effective for certain trades. Really great to reject your trades and understand how they do their quotations so you can supply them with the accurate information they need. And you can do high level preliminary costing by using the same kind of quantity takeoffs. Okay, good luck with this. It's fun to do once you get in there, but use highlighters, leave your math on the page, and create simple summaries for yourself that you can come back to and reference as you go.